The Meth Island, built by squatters in Florida was destroyed by police. Authorities in Florida have started tearing down buildings on an island that was taken over by squatters and is notorious for its drug usage. There was a huge safety concern for us about whoever would be on that island with those types of structures out there, said Port Orange Police Det. Mike Wallace. According to a recent video shared by the Volusia County Sheriff's Office, the region, which social media users have called, Meth Island, is littered with numerous hand-built wooden buildings, including a complex four-story treehouse and other huts created out of what appears to be old timber and tree branches. On the island, which is close to the Dunlawton Bridge in Port Orange, the squatters also put in a trampoline and looked to be building a pool. To deter visitors, some of the squatters even rigged surrounding islets with booby traps, which the authorities claim they will remove in the future. There is evidence of drugs that have been done over there, alcohol that's been done, said Kevin Pedry, a South Daytona police lieutenant. The Port Orange Police Department, South Daytona Police Department, and Florida Fish and Wildlife were helped last week by the Volusia County Sheriff's Office, which put up no trespassing signs at the squatter camp. Trespass notice you are ordered to vacate the island within 48 hours, signs posted by Florida law enforcement on the island state. According to police officials, they did this because the squatter activities and improvised structures provide a risk to both the occupants and nearby communities during hurricane season. All that stuff is going to get thrown all over the intracoastal and damage other boats, or who knows how far some of the wood can launch and possibly damage other property as well, Pedri told. The constructions, which the police suspect are built of wood that was probably stolen from docks or scavenged, also pose a threat to the island's mangrove population, which is vital to the island's ability to withstand storm surges. The trampoline and complex treehouse that is present in the area, according to the police, may tempt children to play there. All it does is draw attention for young kids to go over there, Pedri said. They go to these islands and start having fun, and then you start getting the alcohol in there, and they are jumping down on these trampolines. That's when an accident is going to wind up happening. To clean the island and put it back to its natural form, according to Pedri, the local public works department has already started demolishing some of the buildings. According to a Port Orange Police Department official, various local authorities are keeping an eye on the islands.